In case you decide to buy a telescope for domestic purposes, you should bear in mind a few factors concerning the telescope features to get the best value for your investment. Focal length. It is the distance between the center of the lens and the point at which the light is focused. In general, the telescope consists of two main parts. The optical tube, which includes the objective lens if the telescope was refractor, or the main concave mirror if the telescope is reflector. The focal length is directly proportional to the magnifying power of the telescope, so the more focal length the telescope has, the bigger you'll see the objects. Aperture size. The aperture size, or the diameter of the telescope, is a big factor you should consider when buying a telescope since how much you can see through the telescope depends on this diameter. There is a direct proportionality between the size of the telescope and the resolving power. The resolving power is the telescope's ability to show details, meaning the higher the resolving power, the better it can show adjacent items one by one. Massive telescopes are able to gather more light, that way you can look at fainter objects in the sky particularly important if you're in town and the sky is polluted. Focal Ratio The focal ratio is a number calculated by dividing the diameter of the telescope by the focal length. This number will be related to the image quality that a certain telescope may have. So, if you have two telescopes with the same focal length but one has a higher focal ratio, that telescope will have a much larger diameter. Another example. If you have two telescopes with the same aperture size but one has a larger focal length, that telescope will be much longer. Both previous cases would be difficult to deal with since you probably want a portable and lightweight telescope to carry easily and get into your car. Mount The telescope mount is the stand that holds the telescope components, and as you can imagine, it's an extremely important part. You should consider buying a good one. It stabilizes the telescope on the ground against wobbles and the wind. When you look for a telescope mount, you'll primarily find two types of mounts, equatorial and alt-azimuth. The equatorial is essentially used to follow the moving objects in the sky, and the alt-azimuth is like the normal tripod of a camera. The advanced equatorial mounts include a motor drive to track objects, and sometimes they come with a programmable computer that includes a large dataset of astronomical objects to aim the telescope automatically. So again, it's a good idea to invest in the telescope mount. Here are some of the best home telescopes you can buy. 1. Celestron Nexstar 6SE the Celestron Nexstar 6SE telescope is one of the first-class telescopes for beginners and intermediate astronomers. The Nexstar 6SE is especially interesting in case you need a professional computerized mount and monitoring software. The scope comes with printable sky maps, 75 enhanced photographs, and a 10,000 object database. These are superb assets for those keen to explore the universe. Because the Nexstar 6SE is portable, user-friendly, and effective, it's by far the proper scope for outdoors as well. Celestron is definitely a big name in the telescope's market, and they've earned their prestige with years of great production. This telescope comes with a great 25mm eyepiece. For beginners, however, this piece is a first-rate asset for the scope, getting the task accomplished. The optical tube and the tripod are pretty mild. The entire scope will fit flawlessly in the back of a normal vehicle. The steel tripod offers a few extra stabilities for your scope. Nevertheless, whenever the wind begins and you're stargazing outside, you'll want to find something to balance it. The mounting process takes only a few minutes once you get the scope out of the package. The finder scope and the automated alt-azimuth mount will take your superstar monitoring to a whole new level. This can feel like a first-rate professional telescope for the cost of an amateur to intermediate range. The downside is that the telescope includes batteries that tend to drain quite fast. For outside observation, the Celestron power tank will extend your observation period. 2. Celestron Nexstar 130 SLT Computerized Celestron Nexstar 130 SLT Computerized Telescope is an excellent scope for all beginner and intermediate astronomers. Its primary feature is the completely automated alt-azimuth mount with the star pointer finder scope, which means that introducing the date, the time, and the location, this scope will automatically turn to the nearest and brightest celestial body in the sky. The Skyline gadget allows you to align on any three shiny celestial objects. Considered one of Celestron's first-class amateur telescopes, Celestron Nexstar 130 SLT computerized telescope will genuinely make your interest in astronomy develop sky-high. This scope was designed as an inexpensive, entry-level telescope that can be set and utilized in a few minutes, but it can also be used by an advanced, mid-entry-level astronomer. 
It is compatible with 2-inch pieces, making it quite versatile, and it includes a great pair of eyepieces. The tube and the tripod are quite light, and it fits in the back of a normal car. It includes a steel tripod, making the telescope more stable. Still, if you want to use it on a windy day, you'll need to find something to balance it. It is suitable for astrophotography. The photos you can capture with a computerized scope of this quality will be breathtaking, just beautiful and clear. The downside is that you need a lot of patience to learn how to use the Skyline feature properly. If you only use the telescope from a single observation point, you will need to enter the date and time every time you want to use it, since there is no date and location memory. 3. Orion 10016 Starblast 6 Astro Reflector a fun, capable, and simple point-and-view tabletop reflector telescope popular among both beginners and seasoned astronomers thanks to its ease of use and versatile performance. Substantial aperture reflector optics reveal good detail on planets and the moon, as well as bright deep-sky objects such as nebulas, galaxies, and star clusters. The compact tabletop design gives the Starblast 6 reflector great grab-and-go portability. The sturdy base arrives pre-assembled in the box for a hassle-free setup. It includes telescopic eyepieces, an aiming device, an eyepiece rack, starry night software, and more. It has a high optical power for a beginner telescope, can be used for casual observing as well as a learning tool, and its detachable rings allow you to upgrade it. It is offered with software, so you can observe better and even take pictures. It has a sturdy base with adjustable altitude tension for ease of focusing, is compact and lightweight for portability and highly versatile with two eyepieces. However, it must be set on something and has a plastic focuser. 4. SV Boney SV35 70mm Refractor A small scope fit for children and beginners. A quickly set up telescope that's ideal for children, beginners, and students who want to try stargazing without the commitment, space, or huge price tag. This 70mm aperture refractor telescope comes with a sturdy aluminum tripod, which keeps the scope stable as you stargaze, a backpack for taking your telescope on trips and adventures, as well as a phone mount so you can take photos of the stars as you spot them. Because it's an entry-level telescope aimed firmly at beginners, this telescope is a good option for taking a closer look at the moon and closer objects rather than deep sky objects. 5. Levenhoek Strike 90 Plus Tipped as a great beginner's telescope, the Strike 90 Plus is easy to use enough for both adults and kids. Because its setup is pretty simple on an alt-azimuth mount, this essentially means there's no additional alignment or calibration necessary. As well as the idiot-proof setup, the Strike 90 also has a red dot finder on the tube of the telescope, which acts as a laser pointer and makes navigating your way through the night sky easier. But just because the setup and onboard navigation is relatively simple, that doesn't mean the telescope doesn't measure up well compared to the competition. It's a refractor telescope with great aperture and premium optics. It also comes with a lot of additional kit, like books and software, a zoom eyepiece, a box, and a Zongo 20 telescope case. 6. AW 70mm Astronomical Refractor Telescope – Refractive Spotting Scope the AW 70mm telescope uses a refractor optic system, and for easy viewing, it comes with two comfortable eyepieces. It features an aluminum tripod, which is designed for better balance, and the tripod can be raised up to 50 inches. The AW 70mm refractor telescope is compact and lightweight, and with such a small design, it's easy to transport and store away. This telescope is a popular choice for entry-level astronomers, and it's made with a 70mm aperture. Another selling point for this product is the 5x24 finder scope because it makes finding tiny objects much easier. The AW 70mm telescope is a complete package and it comes with a manual, tripod, aiming platform, eyepiece, finder scope and optics tube. The price is very affordable and it gives amateur astronomers the ability to test the hobby and see if it's something they're interested in pursuing.